every gate standing my way of influence and visibility I declare be broken right now lift your voice and pray he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in thunder he has broken the gates of bars and cut the bars of iron in thunder. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Listen to me. We are going to pray against delay. It was the delay of the bridegroom that made the oil of others to finish. If the bridegroom came early, all ten of them will see him. They all had oil, but because the bridegroom delayed, the oil of others finished and they missed out. You are going to pray. Lord, bring speed to my destiny. Bring speed to my life. Lift your voice and pray. Speed to my life. Speed to my destiny. Speed to my life. Speed to my destiny. Speed to my business. Speed to my career. Someone is praying. Pray, pray, outside, pray, online, pray, make decrees in the name of Jesus. 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 We are still praying over speed. Look at me. Listen. The unit of destiny is time. God can bring you help speedily. Are we together now? Yes. We are going to pray. The Bible says, And the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah. And Elijah ran on barefoot and overtook the chariots of Ahab down to Israel. We are going to pray. Lord, bring speed to my life. Bring speed to my life. Lift your voice and begin to prophesy. Speed, speed, speed. Someone prophesy. Someone declare. Speed to my destiny. Speed to my destiny. Speed to my destiny. Speed to my life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Psalm 125 verse 3. Psalm 125 verse 3, please. The Bible says, The rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous. Why? Lest the righteous put their hands in iniquity. The rod of the wicked. You are going to command every finger of darkness and evil over your life, your family, your children. You are going to command it to give way. Are you ready? Lift your voice and pray. The rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the Lord of the righteous. Let's go, 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 let's go
Hallelujah. 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 Job chapter 5, please. Job chapter 5 and verse 19. We are praying. Please take this prayer serious. Job chapter 5 and verse 19. Are you ready to read? Want to read with me? He shall deliver thee in six troubles. Yea, in seven shall no evil touch you. Number one. Next verse, please. In famine, he shall redeem thee from death. And in war from the power of the sword. Next verse. Thou shalt be hid from the scourging tongues of men. Neither shalt thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. At destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh. Neither shalt thou be afraid of the beast of the earth. Why? Listen. It says, for thou shalt be in covenant with the stones of the field. That means nobody can use any element of creation to make enchantments against me. You use sand, you, I, I have a covenant with the elements of creation that they will not fight me because I was given dominion over them. Say in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, no enchantment, no divination against my life and my destiny shall drive. Lift your voice and pray. I am in covenant. I am in covenant. I am in covenant with the stone. I am in covenant. I am in covenant with the stone. I am in covenant with the stone. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Second Thessalonians chapter 3 and verse 16. Second Thessalonians chapter 3 and verse 16. Please read with me. Are you ready? One to read. Now the Lord of peace himself give you peace. How long? Always. By all means. If it means clearing the troublemakers out of the way, by all means. If it means making a way, by all means. Lift your voice and say, Lord, by all means, give me peace. 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 Hallelujah. Isaiah 61. Isaiah 61. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings to the meek. He hath sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of prison to them that are bound. There are people physically, you see them moving. But in the realm of the spirit, the Bible says that they are bound. 
next verse to proclaim the acceptable year of the lord and the day of vengeance of our god to comfort all that mourn in zion verse 3 it says to appoint unto them that mourn in zion to give them beauty for ashes the oil of joy for mourning the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness that they might be called the trees or the oaks of righteousness the planting of the lord that he might be glorified verse 4 I receive it for myself it says and they shall build the old waste they shall raise up the former desolations and shall repair the waste cities and desolations of many generations verse 5 and strangers this is where we are getting to you don't need to know who will help you strangers and strangers shall stand and feed. listen 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 strangers shall stand and feed your flock it says and the sons of aliens or foreigners shall be your plowmen this was what happened to a man called mephibosheth the bible says and david said is there any man in the house of saul that i may show him kindness for jonathan's sake and they called a man called ziba who had 15 sons the bible says he sent him to lodeba he said there is a crippled man called mephibosheth go and fetch the man the king said when he came he said although you are crippled even mephibosheth said am i a dog that the king will be sending for me he said the children of ziba would plow the land for him he said but as for you mephibosheth you will eat with me at my table here forever keep that scripture there listen this scripture is a deliverance scripture stop thinking the miracle will come through the person you know it's none of your business how god will bring you the breakthrough stop troubling your uncle your auntie every time you are saying god visit me your mind is going to a particular person that real estate man leave god to decide who like a movie director let him decide who will come with the blessing are you ready to pray make decrees in this season strangers are feeding my flock strangers are feeding my flock the sons of alien are coming to bless me help prepare blessings rising from everywhere hallelujah two prayer points and we're done are you ready to pray we're going to pray for nigeria how many of you know that we owe a responsibility to pray for this nation you see the happenings around this nation the church should not be silent it's not about going around to make all kinds of unguarded statements our assignment is to pray pray like believers with intelligence he said pray for the peace of jerusalem they shall prosper who love you we are going to pray we cannot fold our arms and allow the devil to continue to destroy people you heard the testimony of our dear auntie here the precious daughter just came out of the her school and these wicked evil people entered a car and that's how they carried her killed other innocent people whoever digs a pit for you i stand by my god and i declare they must enter that pit hallelujah now listen her man was plotting the annihilation of the jews and he was clearly cooperating with vashti and god needed to remove vashti and when god brought esther esther forgot her assignment and she was enjoying the palace and mordecai sent a warning that warning is for all of us every time you hear trouble somewhere don't say it's still far don't make the mistake of esther mordecai said do not think when they are done with us from afar you will be spared the moment you hear that there is trouble anywhere you owe a responsibility to stay the power of hell don't just say i am secured 
Esther knew that if she kept quiet, one day they would discover she were a Jew and they would kill her. And she took the risk. I'm going to meet the king. Even without his invitation, if I perish, I perish. One of the things I'm praying and trusting that God will do to the body of Christ is to help us to rise to that point of maturity where we are able to take the corporate burden of the body even if personally there is nothing wrong with us are we together when you hear that there is an accident you don't just say oh the members of my church were protected it is a cry for everybody are we together now you must be able to hide your individualism so that the corporate good of the body will speak so just because nothing happened to your business during the pandemic just because you are okay just because you have security forces around your house does not mean you should negate the fact that our nation needs help as responsible believers part of the ministry of priesthood is to stand and midwife deliverance and say no lord it cannot happen not in our lifetime this kind of evil that plagued the nations we must stand as priests are we together for a very long time we have been largely very selfish once trouble does not come near you you read the news and say oh that's fine it is them once it is not your child that is kidnapped no problem no we're going to pray in one minute cry to the god of heaven father we declare let the angels be released over nigeria let the angels be released over this nation we declare peace we declare safety 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 hallelujah hallelujah let me make decrees over our lives now decrees are powerful hallelujah prophetic words don't only reveal they create they make what is not there to be there we can call the things that be not and make them to appear we can call the favor that be not and make it appear we can call the lifting that be not and make it appear are you ready to pray in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god i decree and declare by the power that raised christ from the dead every door that has refused to open over your destiny i declare let it be open right now let it be open right now in the name of jesus Everywhere the helpers of your destiny are, men instructed by God to hold your hand and lift you. I don't care where they are across this nation and around the globe. I stand by the voice of prophecy and I command them to show up in your life. 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 Up in your life. Listen to me every strange pattern and occurrence in any family circles of negative things that keep repeating themselves i stand by the god of heaven and i come by the rod of a higher priesthood i break those patterns now and jabez was more honorable than his brethren the bible says the mom bore him in sorrow and named him jabez and for a while things will not go well in his life and one day he said oh that thou wouldest bless me and enlarge my coast is someone ready to pray listen god is a god of increase is it is the will of god that you keep moving from glory to glory not that you become stunted in one position i pray for you in the name of jesus expand expand to the left expand to the right i'm praying for you by the power of the holy ghost expand to the east expand to the north 
expand to the south expand to the west expand overseas in the name of jesus christ let's decree favor ah. in the name of jesus christ the kind of favor you have not seen in your life i stand by the god of heaven if you can believe it i declare between now and next week sunday return with a fearful testimony of favor i speak it from the depth of my spirit return with a fearful testimony of favor we shift systems we shift structures and i command favor i declare favor i command favor i declare favor can i pray for your spiritual life everything that has killed your hunger and your passion for the things of god you used to pray in the night but now you sleep all till the day there is a spirit of slumber that wants to eat up your destiny because a new season is about to open for you so the devil does not want you to stay in the place of prayer receive an impartation of the grace the spirit of prayer and supplication in the name of jesus christ listen to me hear me we're wrapping up i'm speaking to you prophetically there are many of you seasons are about to open in your life but listen listen the devil wants to use offense to kill those seasons beware one of the traps of satan when seasons are about to open is that he uses offense everything offends you your husband your wife your children your boss make up your mind that your joy will remain because it is with joy you draw out of the wells of salvation i declare joy unspeakable joy unspeakable full of glory joy unspeakable full of glory joy unspeakable full of glory hallelujah let me pray for those in business i believe in the power of the holy ghost and i believe in miracles i don't care how it has been before now in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god what has refused to walk in your hands go back right now and watch one does happen go back right now and watch one does happen go, uh, go back and watch one does happen in the name of jesus christ now everyone here connected to anything that has to do with ancestry anything that has to do with bloodline everything that seems to have a legal hold over your life right now in the name of Jesus I decree and declare at the count of three by the fire of the Holy Ghost it will consume that devil now one two help them three be free now please help them be free now be free now help those under the anointing please any family here with the yoke of death on their head everyone here with the yoke of untimely death I decree and I declare right now by this kapakos koto bekata by this oil of preservation that I command you pass over their family pass over their destinies pass over their families hear me every demonic mark over your life attracting men attracting tragedies attracting losses 
to your life your business your ministry your career by the power that raised christ from the dead by the blood of the lamb may that mark be erased forever erased forever erased forever erased forever hear me everyone here who comes close to prophecy but never handles it you see it in your dreams you are just one step to receiving it and then something in the name of jesus every spirit assigned to frustrate you i stand on this altar by the blood of the lamb i decree help them please i command an end to that oppression now an end to that oppression now help those under the anointing please there are people here anything you start does not last there is no problem in starting you have done too many things this year alone but none of them has been sustained whether it's business whether it's ministry whether it's a relationship whether it's marriage nothing you do last i decree and declare by this oil of preservation on your life whatever cuts short prophecy from your destiny let it be cancelled now cancelled now cancelled now cancelled now every spirit that makes tomorrow worse than yesterday that means all your achievements and everything that makes you happy is always in yesterday you see people sit down and they never discuss what god is doing it is always something that happened something that happened as though tomorrow does not have anything good i decree and declare whatever makes your moral your tomorrow to keep diminishing in quality and value i decree and i prophesy over you let that spirit leave your destiny now hear me anyone here who is in ministry particularly and it looks like the more the ministry is extending in age the more everything is going down whether in membership whether in impact whether in visibility you may be following online i'm standing here under the corporate anointing with all the servants of god here and we decree and declare whatever makes ministry a frustrating adventure for you that it looks like you are called but nothing in your life shows that you are called by the power that raised christ from the dead we cast that spirit now the same applies to business the same applies to career your tomorrow i repeat should never never be worse than yesterday now hear me if there is anyone here who is struggling with any terminal disease particularly something that is already eating you up that is already plunging you towards death or anyone here having dreams and all you keep seeing are dead people dead relatives people who have died interacting with you or whatever it is the living and the dead have nothing in common therefore this night by this oil of preservation be separated forever be separated forever And any human agent in partnership with demonic spirits to invoke death or pain or losses or tragedy over your life and your endeavors in the name of Jesus Christ we decree and declare this oil upon you becomes an oil of judgment against them hallelujah 
if there is anyone here that you have been marked in the realm of the spirit for kidnap by any terrorist group whether in this nation or around the world i stand in the name of jesus as one sent of god i decree and declare that anybody who stands by the road to kidnap you i command the earth to fight them in the name of jesus whether in the day whether in the night every devil walking through men that will stand by the road to kidnap or oppress you may the earth fight them in the name of jesus and every manifestation of accidents whether by road whether by sea whether by air hear me if you enter that plane or that car then it will not crash please believe these are not empty words these are not empty words at all let me pray for your children whether you are there with them or not wherever your children are may this prophetic word go ahead of them and preserve them hallelujah i think he was in the I, I i don't i don't i don't watch the news so much but I, I saw something on the news or so about a young boy was it one young boy i think he's in nigeria here that was killed or i think i hope i'm right with that story i don't i really didn't follow the story but i said what sort of a thing is this i'm saying it again wherever your children are if there is anyone who could not get to you and now wants to come through your children whether biological whether adopted or spiritual in the name of jesus christ quarter to shame and disgrace may my god arise and speak for you hallelujah And everybody who has been commanded to come into your life as an answered prayer and the devil is delaying them and yet you are suffering from that delay you are suffering whether business whether relationship whether family whether prophetic connection anybody that should show up in your life and destiny to accelerate prophecy wherever they are I command divine acceleration to you The wine presser was supposed to talk to the king fast about Joseph. But because of his carelessness, Joseph spent two extra years. It was the delay of the bridegroom that punished five other virgins. They were all virgins. But simply because the, the bridegroom chose to delay, that was why their oil finished. Whatever will cut short your joy and your laughter in the name of jesus especially during this season i prophesy to you by the power of the holy spirit whatever will not make you laugh and rejoice let it go for your sake <laughs> hallelujah this is not our last service but i just feel stirred to rebuke the spirit of fear and then we're done many people are afraid right now because of the festive season there is no money how will my children eat how will i travel can i speak to you dear family of faith have no fear i want to speak to you there is the prophetic dimension of the supplies of the kingdom if you have never had a christmas celebration or a new year celebration with joy and gladness in the name of jesus may this be one with a difference in your life may god raise men you do not know may god raise systems and structures in the name of jesus christ hallelujah here and there people can have illnesses malaria whatever it is and just take drugs and deal with it but there are people here from beginning of this year till now, 
minister of the gospel let your heart be open i want to release a grace upon you ministers of the gospel it's time to to this powerlessness in the church if we do not drive it away by the introduction of genuine graces the purposes of god and the program of god will suffer i call upon the god of my covenant and in the name of jesus i declare for everyone called into ministry the mantle and the grace needed take it now 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 the grace needed for efficiency receive it in the name of jesus hear me if you are a prophet here may your eyes and your ears be opened supernaturally may a mantle come upon you male and female may that grace come upon you in the name of jesus christ the healing anointing I'm seeing fire coming on the hands of people. I don't know who you are, but drink of that fountain. In the name of Jesus Christ, drink of that fountain. A new wave of the healing anointing. A new wave of the healing anointing. I release it upon you. I, re I release it upon you. Take that grace now. Signs and wonders. I shift you into a ministry of signs and wonders potent signs and wonders in the name of Jesus Christ that through your hands the blind will see through your hands the deaf will hear through your hands cripples will walk in the name of Jesus Christ hear me every dimension of the gift of the Spirit that is missing in your life but required for your destiny I'm telling you I'm seeing like candles I'm seeing candles in the spirit and fire is coming on those candles this is what I'm seeing it looks like Acts chapter 2 and verse 1 that Pentecost fire let it come upon you now that Pentecost fire let it come upon you now Pentecost fire with proof in your spiritual life I'm still praying for everyone but particularly ministers of the gospel the spirit of revelation superior illumination into scripture I tell you men and women will teach scripture like never before the Word of God will open up to you you will communicate doctrine and the mysteries of scripture with precision and exactitude receive that grace right now receive that grace the spirit of revelation in the name of Jesus Christ every altar that has been barren of power from any man or woman of God here in the name of Jesus return back to your various stations with fire return back to your various stations with fire in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah praise the name of the Lord let's do the finance one now father it is your desire for your people to prosper even in this season and many of them have come from situations right now where except you help and show mercy certain financial doors may not seem to be opened but in the name of Jesus you have orchestrated this service for the mysterious lifting of men therefore the grace component required for your financial exploits receive it now Hmm. Hmm. receive it now receive it now hear me 
there are many of you by reason of this impartation a strange order of wisdom is resting on your mind superior strategies superior ideas in the name of Jesus Christ and every spirit of lack and poverty that has followed any family here I don't care for how long it has been I arrest it now in the name of Jesus I arrest it now in the name of Jesus I arrest it now in the name of Jesus hallelujah please be silent I want you to bring all the people who will be under the anointing now. Just be silent. You don't say you've prayed. This is the instruction God is giving me. I want to rebuke certain strange spirits that have held on to certain destinies. And usually I will ask you to shout, but the Lord is giving me an instruction to be silent. In the name of Jesus, Father, even as you have instructed, everyone here and every family here, under the influence of wicked spirits, yokes, covenants aha in the name of jesus christ i'm telling you there's there's such fire that is moving in the name of jesus let there be deliverance for such people supernaturally please bring them out whether for individuals or families very quickly men and women everything that has tied your progress i decree and declare right now be released be released, be released. Please bring them out. My God, fire is falling in this place. Bring them quickly. Ancestry, yokes of darkness. You may not even know that is the cause. The Bible says, now the Lord is that spirit. Something is leaving you. I'm seeing someone like a chain around your waist. Let it be broken. Let it be broken. Let it be broken. Let it be broken, it Let it be broken now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Let it be broken now. Release their destinies. Release their destinies. Release their destinies. It happened to your father, it happened to your mother, it happened to your siblings. The blood is speaking against it now. The Apakosh Ketepata, the blood is speaking against it now. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You are the king. There is none other. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Please bring them out quickly. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You are the King. There is none other. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. of people and the Lord is saying he's opening graves I don't know what this means but in the name of Jesus every family here that has been tied down by witchcraft and ancestry I stretch my hands fire fire begins to burn everything that is not of God bring them out let it destroy the works of darkness let it destroy the works of darkness connected to ancestry connected to the spirits of the dead be delivered now
I'm still praying. Please be sensitive. This is a very prophetic moment. Every two, two years, someone must die in that family. This is what I'm saying. The Lord is bringing deliverance. Someone must die. Where are those people? The power of God is coming on you now. Right now, I break that chain of that pattern, that pattern of death. Break now. Break now. Break now. Break now. Anyone here appointed unto death that the devil has vowed that you must die this year I don't know where you are but in the name of Jesus I want to rebuke that influence over your life and I hope you know that as you are standing here you can stand in for your loved ones too wherever they are spirit of death I speak to you you know my voice anyone whose destiny you have hijacked release them now release them now release them now negative and demonic dreams seeing yourself in the past past schools writing exams that never finish all kinds of satanic things everything that connects you negatively to yesterday be set free right now please help them be set free right now be set free right now hear me the lord is asking me to repeat this same thing again you go to bed and you see yourself doing things you had done before levels you have left according to scripture believers don't go backward we only go forward every spirit drawing you back i break you from their influence now let me tell you this hear me i hope you know i used to have those experiences myself before you've heard my story as a man of god though not just a, an, an ordinary believer i used to have those experiences where demons would come and press me and all those things i would shout jesus shout jesus nothing will happen that is why when you see me ministering deliverance to people i do it with passion because i've been a victim of oppression again let me speak to someone you have prayed you have fasted you have tried and yet nothing has changed in the name of jesus this night be delivered permanently 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 hallelujah don't be tired i'm seeing in a vision this is what i'm seeing the hands of people tied how can a man move like this with your hands tied how can a man move like this and walk with your hands tied i don't know who that person is but in the name of jesus let fire from heaven your hand is a symbol of your productivity you may even have a job yet your hands are tied i don't know whose hand is tied or whose destiny is tied at the count of three shout jesus and your deliverance comes one two three shout jesus be delivered now i break those chains i break them from your hands i break those chains i break them from your hands hallelujah hallelujah the Lord is showing me the vision of a door and I'm seeing many people queuing in front of that door and according to the vision I'm seeing 
trying to force the door to open and some are even crying and I'm seeing people dropping like dying yet that door is not opened I believe that this is a sign of advancement or retrogression that doors and I believe that this line represents families and even generations that have stood there are doors that have limited families that they say nobody can pass through this door you can go abroad you can school like this our dear woman the professor that came to give a testimony let me open that door prophetically I taught you at the beginning of this year that there are three ways doors are open number one is by the use of the right key number two is by knocking the ministry of men but number three by force and power let me use number three because when those doors open they open from their foundations i decree and declare every generational door that has closed i stand and as an apostle of the lord jesus christ let that door be open now i break that door now I break that door now. I break that door now. Generational doors be open. Be open. Be open. Efata be open. Be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. You will be surprised to see what happens to you as a result of this miracle service hear me you see when a door is open or broken the most important thing is that the right of way has been given you will begin to see mysterious advancement happening to you in the name of jesus for all who are in front here i declare prophetically that god who has located you you have come out by the anointing the spirits that oppress you i declare the count of three in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god they release you once and for all the bible says now the lord is that spirit one two three go 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 release them now out of their lives never to return again in the name of jesus the sun sets them free and we declare as the church of the Lord Jesus Christ they are free forever they are free forever they are free forever in the name of Jesus please hear me I told you that I have discerned that among the many things that God is doing is bringing health and healing to his people and also bringing financial stability you see the teachings that i've been bringing these are not just teachings that are coming carelessly because one of the things that the devil has released upon the body of christ please hear me is death through sickness mysteriously people just wake up and you find out that there are diseases you cannot account for are we together now it is our responsibility to be able to discern what heaven is doing and to be able to communicate God, God's intent for his people. So this prayer for healing, we may not have time for testimonies because our time is gone. You can always register your testimony, but I want to pray with you. Listen, if there is any loved one you know in your life who is sick, please, as I'm praying, connect with them so that they don't die for nothing. And for those who are connecting from any hospital, our teaching hospitals, private hospitals, now is the time. It's incredible how people connect from hospitals and release their faith. Please connect. We're, we're, we're talking now under the influence of the anointing. Lay your hands on your chest. If you have a medical report, bring it out. I'm about to pray. That devil must let you go. Must let your children go. Please place your hand right now. I want to minister the life and the healing power of Jesus. If it's a part of your body you cannot touch, just make contact with your chest. And then we'll pray. Praises to your name, O oh God, for your name is great and greatly to be praised. Place your hand there. I sing praises to your name, O oh God. 
praises to your name. Oh God, for your name is great and greatly. As I pray for you, I shout the name of Jesus. I want you to thunder a loud amen. Let the devil and let that sickness know. I told you expectation must be expressed in words and in action. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I command every spirit that is back of any infirmity in the name of him who died and rose again. I speak as one sent from God. May that spirit leave your body now. That devil of infirmity leave God's people now from America to Europe, to South Africa, to Kenya, to Zimbabwe, to Ghana, to Lagos, to Abuja, to Joss, to Kano. Let the healing power of God begin to flow right now. Be healed in the name of Jesus. 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 Blood conditions be healed now. Yes. Cancer die now. Yes. HIV be healed now. Yes. Blood conditions of any sort we declare healing right now. Yes. Blind eyes, partial or complete blindness, we command that you open now. Yes. Deaf ears be open now. Anyone here suffering from the issue of blood, I declare be healed right now. Every demonic growth roaming around any part of your body, there is someone, fire is coming on you. There's movement all over your body. You literally feel things moving in your body from your head to your toe be set free right now there's someone you are having a problem with your heart in the name of Jesus be healed right now the Lord is showing me a woman in a vision it started like having you know how you have cold maybe a flu or something and then you lose your voice but till now your voice is not restored this has this has become months you know most times people just take maybe lemon warm water or something some you know and and then eventually their voices their, their, the sound returns but for this woman your, your your voice refused to return back so you speak as though you are whispering it's a demonic thing i restore your speaking now in the name of jesus christ there is a woman, you are laying your hands right now, you are in this place. You are laying your hands upon your daughter, your little baby. There's been a mysterious sickness, you don't even know why. She's losing appetite, she's not eating, 
she know not sucking not doing all of that in the name of Jesus Christ let that little baby be healed right now now whether I've mentioned your case or not in the name of Jesus be healed now the Lord is showing me a plot by darkness to take someone's father and mother the same day this is what I'm saying in the name of Jesus I don't know who that person is a mysterious sickness just destroying both of them like in this not accident like that just you know in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare we extend their life to its fullest you will not lose any of your loved ones again Therefore, be healed, be perfected. There's someone you have, your own is not heart palpitations. I'm not a medical doctor, I'm just sharing what the Lord is showing me. Your heart is not pumping blood properly. This is what is wrong with you. I may not know the, the medical name of that situation, but it makes you dizzy. It, it, I mean, it's, it's like the, the case that I mentioned earlier here. In the name of Jesus, I don't know who that person is. Whatever blockage is around your heart that extends to your veins, your arteries, whatever is stopping the normal blood flow to supply oxygen to the body, in Jesus' name, we declare supernaturally, let there be healing. Let there be healing. There's someone, the Lord is showing me, every time it is rainy season, you have boils come out of your body like boils sores come out even you know various areas of your body that discomfort you seriously i don't know who that person is but this year we exempt you from that experience in the mighty name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus now everyone you're going to be praying in the spirit for the next one minute while you submit your prayer requests let's do it very quickly ushers let's have the prayer requests please bring out your prayer request our global family now is the time to forward your requests just pass it to the last person by your left or right to make the work easy for the ushers just pass it please if you need to pen down one or two things just make that snappy very very quickly hallelujah make that very snappy god bless you are you praying? Make sure you're not silent. Ushers, let's make it fast, please. Make sure we have enough people outside and then all the overflows. Those online connect by faith right now. You heard the testimonies. Hallelujah. Where is that woman who gave, that professor woman that gave a testimony from the Zimbabwe, America? Where is she? Is she here? Please let her come quickly. And then the pastor from Redeemed, that pastor from Redeemed that testified, two of them, please let them come. Submit your request very quickly. Let's have it very quickly. Hallelujah. Praise God. The pastor from Redeemed, please let him come. And then the professor walking with Jeff Bezos. Hallelujah. I want to speak over your lives, both of you. You came here, I just felt led in my spirit, not that we're trivializing, and every testimony is great, but the Lord put it in my heart. I thought I would do this privately, but the Lord asked me to do it now. Please, let's have the request very quickly. I'm, I'm, I'm happy that both of you have acknowledged the power of the anointing. The, the, you can be gifted, but your gift must be anointed. To be gifted and to be anointed are two different things. To be gifted means that you have developed, outsourced, and even refined your value to be able to serve your world with excellence. But the assignment of the anointing is to be able to bring the spirit factor because James 2.26 says a body without a spirit is dead. Your gift is a body without a spirit. It can still be dead. And our dear professor, we're going to pray for you and release you with another dimension of grace that you will go back and you will marvel and wonder at what the power of God can do and for our dear pastor we don't know what parish you pastor or whatever you do but you have come to acknowledge Jesus 
the lands you bought in Lekki and the other one is child's play. That is just a test of faithfulness. God will grant you access to the wealth of nations. Now let me pray for both of you. I stretch my hands. We've been commanded to bless. And in the name of Jesus, this is a sworn blessing. It cannot be reversed. I stretch my hands upon both of you, using you as a point of contact to as many who desire to walk in this reality. God has lifted you. In Jesus' name, Professor, we pray. Let that grace speak for you. Amen. Go back and be marvelously distinguished. Amen. Even among your contemporaries, we elevate you by the anointing. Amen. And for our pastor, in the name of Jesus, may the Lord anoint you. Amen. A unique grace for wealth and prosperity, let it rest upon you. In the name of Jesus, as you declare the word in season and out of season, the Lord himself will bring such evidence to your ministry. I bless you both. Go and return with greater testimonies. In Jesus' name we pray. Give them a big hand clap. Thank you. Please stretch your hands and begin to declare over your request. Remember, I've taught you on expectation. I want you to begin to make faith declarations very quickly. I'm returning with my testimony. Everything written here will be returned as a harvest of answers. Lord, step in, do the impossible. Do the impossible. It's a prayer, Lord. Lord step in. Do the impossible. Do the impossible. let's be sure that everyone's request is here I want to lay my hands on it I'd like you to begin to pray in the spirit and declare over this request father in the name of Jesus I return with testimonies is someone praying is someone praying Shabaraso koto prandas kalibereso dia parados ratabaras shodo braske berento sidas Jesus Christ I decree and I declare that every request here represented let it return to you as a testimony 
for many of you may it return faster than you expected I say it again may it return faster than you expected for some of you your answer comes this night where you have been mocked in the name of Jesus Christ may that mockery come to an end where men have said where is your God may God use your results to reply them in the name of Jesus Christ let fire fall on these requests let fire fall on this request 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 in the name of jesus christ hear me by miracle service may in the name of jesus you will not have to repeat anything you've written here I stand upon this request and I decree and declare the same way I'm standing upon it prophetically everything that has risen above you to limit your life I bring it under your feet I bring it under your feet I bring it under your feet now I declare over your life favor like you have never seen may that grace rest upon you favor like you have never seen may that grace rest upon you in the name of Jesus Christ number two koinonia receive speed receive speed in one month may God give you the achievement of years in one month I repeat may my God give you the achievement of years I decree and declare everything that has brought you down and covered your glory I give visibility to your glory in the name of Jesus Christ hear me the helpers of your destiny who have been anointed to locate you and to work in partnership with God for your lifting wherever they are I call them by prophecy to manifest in your life I call them by prophecy to manifest in your life hear me I pray for your various homes I decree and declare may your home be a tabernacle for the presence of God may your home be a place of fire and revival in the name of Jesus Christ and everything written as Ichabod in your life I decree and declare let there be a sudden restoration a sudden restoration wealth like you have never handled may my God bring to your hands in the name of Jesus I pray for your relationship with the Lord hear me hear me hear me hear me this is a very big deal not just for God but even in this ministry while it is true that we are concerned with the holistic building of every man it is important to understand that in order of priority the greatest point of emphasis is your spiritual health therefore I decree and declare your word study life your prayer life may fire come upon your altar in the name of Jesus Christ fire like never before to pray fire like never before to fast fire like never before to pray fire like never before to fast your word study life a passion for the word receive it in the name of Jesus
Thank you for watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media.